Well, welcome back, everybody. I know I hadn't posted much this whole week. Uh, not much stuff going on this weekend with car scene. I know we had a good turnout at the car meet Friday night. One of these days, I need to actually record our meets. Um, we moved to a new location, and a lot of people showed up. Some really nice cars. But a little update on the car. I've done a few things this weekend on my car. Wanting to show everybody. And, uh... If you see my Instagram, you've probably already seen it, but one thing I've done. Uh, one of the things I did, I had the make for my... Um, you can see the strut tire brace. They do make one for the car, but it's not that nice looking. I wanted something that would match the car. And the color is pretty dang close to my car. But I still got to repaint the bra brackets, but as you can see... I had to cut the brackets, redrill some holes, shorten them a little bit, adjust this so it clears the hood, and it actually went on pretty good. And I know some of y'all are going to be like, well, it's hitting the intake over here. No, it's not hitting the intake. If you look really closely, I got about a quarter of an inch of clearance between that intake and the, the bar. I might do a little bit of adjusting on that to try to raise that up some but uh it's clearing uh, another thing i've done was i put this little block in and any of y'all know what that's for that is for my electric fans my electric fans i had them grounded to the body where when i turned my key on it stayed on all the time it does a draw on the uh, alternator pretty bad and you notice it when the fans are running but that there allows the fans to stay off until it hits 160 degrees when the motor coolant hits 160 degrees those fans kick on and help cool the motor down and once the temperature drops below 160 it will shut the fans off here in Louisiana less likely once they kick on they're on until i shut the car off and it cools off but once winter time gets here the car will cool down enough and those fans will be coming on and off like they're supposed to gotta love the louisiana heat because it don't get cool around here and it stays hot a lot so but yeah those are just the simple updates i'm doing to the car uh my little brother's supposed to be coming over today and maybe I'll be able to get some video of his car. I'm supposed to do a charcoal canister delete. Not many people with the LS400s know about that. Uh, these cars have a tendency, and mine's done it. I had to do it to mine. Um, the gas tank's pressurized. When you pull the gas cap off, a lot of air just shoots out of there. And sometimes you get enough fuel in there, it'll make gas come out and be like a little geyser of fuel just coming out of your gas tank because of the pressure in the tank. What it is is the charcoal canister and these cars get old, they clog, and they cause them to not breathe. And it's like a cork in the uh, breather tube and then they build pressure. So what we're going to do to his car today is I'm going to uh, delete his charcoal canister. I got these little tiny fuel filters that are supposed to, no, not fuel filters, they're like breather filters that I get my hands on. And I'm going to be putting one of those in place of the charcoal canister. I have already done it to my car. i got to change it every six months. And it allows it to breathe like normal. Just and it, it, Problem is when I know mine's clogged, my car inside my car fills up with fumes. I'm trying to prevent his car from doing that because I didn't get to mine in time. His hasn't started leaking yet with all the pressure but uh we're gonna get to it before it does and he don't have that problem because he's got my niece in the car every once in a while i don't want her breathing those fumes but i'll try to record his car so y'all can see what his looks like he's got a 94 ls 400 like mine but mine's a 92 this is really clean nice only paid 500 bucks for it but he's definitely put about a couple grand into it to get where it's at now um y'all can get to see what his looks like and y'all got the update on mine you see what's going on with it uh don't know what's going to happen here soon with the car scene except for maybe the car meets i'll keep y'all updated if we have anything go on and uh we'll go from there well 
Told you I'd be back. Uh, I got my brother's car here. Doing a little bit of work to it. Um, we're doing a throttle body clean. Gonna clean this mass air sensor because it's throwing a code. Uh, and we're gonna do that that uh, charcoal canister delete for these cars. And I'll show you where that's located and how I'm doing that. Um, but it's very clean. 94 LS400 all original only thing we've done to it so far is uh, just a comb filter just give it a little noise he knows it's not going to give it no power and that but believe it or not he said it did help a little bit very clean car he has some trash on the floor but he takes really good care of this car no rips in the seats. The seats look in good shape. Beautiful car. Parked right next to mine. <laughs> See the exhaust system on my car compared to his he uh, just deleted the rear mufflers on his car he hadn't done really anything to his car but he's wanting to do a bunch to it it's just money for him is a problem helped him get the car i did most of the work on the car the car's running great compared to what we, when we first got it um I've done had the whole front of this motor tore apart doing time and belt crank seal cam seals water pump flush cooling system oil changes he takes to a shop that's real known for really good work and the Ritter um, he's wanting to do boom tubes in the rear of the car so it looks more complete and sounds a little bit better um, but right now we're just trying to fix the little gremlins in the car. That's all we're trying to do. Just make it run good. and It's not going to be near as fast as mine. So we've done proved that I can walk him really bad in my car. Um, but it's a good car. And if y'all wondering, you see those radiator fans right there? That's factory radiator fans and horns. Now on my car... I'm going to pop my hood and show y'all what mine looks like. And there you go. That's my radiator fans and horns. I deleted, I got these aftermarket fans and horns because mine and my car, when I got mine, it wasn't in the greatest shape of a car. But it ran. And I had to fix some things. And these are very hard to come by unless you buy them through the dealership. And I don't have the kind of money to buy dealership parts. So I go on Jegs and ordered some slim fans, 12 inch slim fans. And they work just as, blow just as hard and work just as good as those factory ones. So, and the horns are way louder. So y'all can, there's my car and there's my brother's car. So, I'll get back with y'all. Right now, I'm going to clean this thought body because right now, it's kind of dirty in there. You can't really see it, but we're going to get that thing cleaned out. And I've already sprayed down his mass air sensor and got that, letting that sit there and let that liquid evaporate because you don't want to start the car up with that stuff still on it. So, we'll let that sit for 30 minutes and... Then I'll show y'all where the charcoal canister is and what I'm going to do there. So, uh, we'll be right back. Now, the thing we're trying to fix is the biggest concern. We just started doing this other stuff today. But, hopefully it does it. When you open this, it blows out a lot of air. Hear it? Wasn't a lot this time because I just put gas in the car for them. Hit sometimes. That would be really bad, and it'd be a lot of air coming out of there with a full tank like it has now. 
it would have been throwing some fuel out of there but we're gonna try to fix that and I'm gonna show y'all where the charcoal canister is and the little pieces I'm using uh, you can use the little filter I'm using it's actual breather filter for a fuel tank or you can get a fuel filter inline fuel filter for like a lawnmower or something and the idea of that is is just you're allowing the vapors to get out and all that pressure to get out of the tank but you're trying to filter the air that's going in and out so that bugs in that don't get in your gas tank and that's the idea of doing what we're doing right now so give me a minute and i'll show y'all where it's at and we'll pull the uh we got to pull the left front tire off get to this and of wheel well plastic just get it out of the way because it's all on the way to get to it but you'll see in a minute all right we're back uh got the wheel well off got the tire off i'm gonna show you what we're doing here tires off wheel wells off there's your harness you're supposed to move <laughs> when you lower your car uh huh. apparently he's been hit right here uh, let's see right there's your charcoal canister this is the thing we're moving we're gonna take this line right here and then down here is another line right here we're gonna take a rubber hose that goes to this metal line here put a filter in the middle and then connect it up here to the top and that will allow your uh, gas tank to breathe through that piece right there because it goes from there out into the charcoal canister and that's what we're gonna be doing so let me get this thing off and I'll show you all what it looks like when we're done or right, when we get this thing off so we'll be right back all right now to do this charcoal delete this is what you need to uh, be able to accomplish this for starters you got to pull wheel well out get your tire off always make sure your vehicle emergency brake is on before you jack the car up yes I don't have jack stands and no I don't have a hydraulic jack so I had to use this factory jack to get this car off the ground right there is the factory charcoal canister there's some type of valve in here has a tendency to rust and seize up and it clogs up and you can't use it anymore to, to fix this problem this is what you need a little inline filter a little lawnmower filter something like a breather filter to keep trash from getting in the tank small clamps two of them and a quarter inch hose you're going to have to cut that to length and then cut it in the middle and put your filter on in the middle and clamp them down. Uh, quarter inch hose does fit kind of tight so you're really only going to need to clamp it up on this. The other spots it fits really good and it's going to breathe real easy so there's not going to be no pressure on it. But you need the clamps to keep the filter on those hoses so it doesn't go anywhere. If you want to, which I might do myself is reuse these clamps off this factory hose for the end pieces the, it's my four clamps now I'm gonna get it all put back in the car and before I put the tire and everything on I'll show you what it looks like after it's in all right that's what it looks like everybody you run your hose here and then you run it down here that one's a little bit bigger than that one, so you're gonna have to fight to get that one put on. But it works, you can get the quarter inch hose on there. And then you got your fuel filter sitting in the middle, which filters the vapors and the air that goes in and out. Uh, and you gotta use your clamps there, because again, that quarter inch hose fits perfect on here and it's a little too loose to leave no clamps on there, but it's tight enough to where it won't leak. <laughs> So you put the clamps on there so it don't rattle off and come loose. And then uh, you're done. And you put everything back together and, and I'll get back with y'all. By the time I get done, we'll should be, if it doesn't work, there'll be pressure in the tank. We'll see if the pressure in the tank is still in there, which I doubt it's going to be. Because I've already done this to my car and it worked great. So we'll get back with y'all. Alright, got it all back together. Car's back on the ground on its tires. 
We're gonna open this. See if anything comes out. Nothing. No air. No nothing. Because that gas tank can breathe now. Done everything to the car. Throttle body's clean. Mass air sensor's clean and dry. I uh, hadn't started the car because I wanted to get a little extra time to dry. Uh, tires and all that's back on the car. And now, what I'm going to do, I'm not going to pour any of this in the gas tank because it's not really good to run this on fuel injected cars. But to clean your injector or clean your intake manifold, this stuff works really well. Um, we're going to pull a major vacuum line. We're going to suck in about half the can into the motor. Kill it. Let it sit for about 5 or 10 minutes. And it should knock out a lot of the big stuff. Help the motor run a little cleaner and run a little better. Um, and then I should be able to clean up my mess and <laughs> bring the car back to my brother and see how it drives. We're also going to take this to somewhere and get his tire pressure test checked because I ain't got nothing here to check tire pressure and if it needs air I don't got nothing here to put air in the tires so I'm gonna take it somewhere local gas station up the road that has free air I'm gonna use their pumps and but yep yeah, it's back on the ground we're gonna do the sea foam in the motor and we should be done be right back all right we're about to start this car after putting that sea foam in the motor Waiting to see how much smoke comes out of this thing. <laughs> it's a lot of smoke. Oh, it's not gonna do nothing sitting here out idle. Look at that. <laughs> A lot of carbon in this motor. Look at all the smoke. <laughs> Alright, we got it all back together. We're about to uh, take it for a test drive and burn all that sea foam out the motor. This thing is going to smoke like a dickens here. We're going to see how much better it drives. It's smoking pretty good. So we're gonna get this thing down the road and uh, burn all that out while we're in the process. We're gonna put some air in the tires. We're gonna make sure I got my ID. So, we're all done. Y'all have a nice day. I'm taking this back to my brother. Go put some air in the tires and take it back to my brother. So, talk to y'all later. Have a good night. God bless.